Welcome to Love and Life's Journey. I'm Chantel, and today I do have a DIY for you, but before we get into that, I have a really special unboxing that I am going to be doing from a new friend in the UK. Her name is Karen, and she has a business called Enchanted Mysteries. She does these amazing boxes, and I am super excited that she has sent me one, and this was just something she wanted to do and to send me and have me unbox it. And so I am going to be doing that. I'm really excited for a couple of reasons. And that is because one, I have seen previous unboxing videos from other YouTubers and I'm really excited because Karen does an amazing job selecting items for her boxes. And I'm also excited because I got the Disney box and if you've been watching me for any amount of time, you know that my family loves Disney and we love to go to Disneyland and Disney World. And so really excited about that. We actually, uh, my husband and I have a trip planned in a few months that we are going to Disney World. So really excited about this box. And if you're not into Disney, uh, Karen also has other boxes. Since she is in the UK, she has an all things British box. She also has Harry Potter boxes, as well as a special uh, Star Wars box for May the 4th. And then uh, she's also launched, I think, some birthday boxes, as well as she also has like treat uh, UK British chocolates and candy boxes. So just a whole variety of things. And so I will put the link to her website in the description box below. It's called Enchanted Mysteries. And uh, I will also put the link to her Facebook page so that you can go on there. Uh, but I'm just really excited to open this box. And so let's unbox this and then we'll get into our DIY. So I have not opened this at all. This is how it came to me. Since it came in April, she has a little sticker there with an Easter egg on it. Um, this is the outer packaging, so I'm going to open this up and we'll see what's inside. All right, so here we have the box. It has a little Enchanted Mysteries. I know it's a Disney box. It has a little Mickey on it. And so let's open this up and see what's inside. Little tab. Okay. Oh, so here is the box. Has a couple of stickers in it. Enchanted mysteries. Those are cute. And then it's all wrapped nice in tissue. So let's see what we have. Ooh, first thing. I see. What is this? Oh goodness. Everything's falling. Oh, it's a backpack. A nice full size Mickey Mouse backpack. A big pocket here in the front and a big zipper pocket. That's so funny. I was thinking about buying a new backpack for our trip. So this is perfect. Got a nice pocket in here. This is actually large enough. You could put a laptop in it. This is great. I will let you know um, what the value of everything is at the end. Um, and how much this box is so that's the first item that's a nice item all right let's see what else we have oh this is an easter candy mix celebrations easter mix it has some different little candies like i said this was the easter time box in April so that makes sense I'm just now opening it but has some chocolate bunnies and eggs so yum right, what else do we have what is this 
Oh, this is Kate Spade. What is this? Okay, so I can see it has a bow. It looks like a Minnie Mouse something. It's wrapped very well. Oh, it's a little like coin purse. So it has a zipper. Little Minnie Mouse. Isn't that cute? Oh, that's so cute. Let's see. It's the little Kate Spade on the front. And just a little coin purse. I like that. I like that a lot. All right. Oh, how cute is this? Thumper face mask with conditioning strawberry extract. How cute is that? I love Thumper. That's super cute. Little face mask from Mad Beauty. Cool. And this is a Min Minalima. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but Minalima Classics. It is a little notebook, I think. It's Peter Pan, see? That's really cute, flying over the houses. And when you open it up, it has a little map. Little notebooks, a map of Neverland. Isn't that cute? That's a nice size too. That's perfect, just like tucking your purse. Very nice. Oh, and there is a matching bookmark to go in there. Go with that. There's a Dairy Milk Chocolate Bunny. And Galaxy Enchanted Eggs, Galaxy Chocolate with Crunchy Caramel Rolled in Rose Gold. Mmm, those look amazing. And I do think because this is a, an Easter time box, it did have more candy than she normally puts in the regular box. This is the 79 pound uh, box. Uh, because it's UK, it's not dollars, it's pounds. And so the 79 pound box. And um, so in it, it included the Galaxy Enchanted Eggs, the Bunny, and it included this big bag of chocolates. This is definitely a big bag. This is probably gonna be going to work to share with my coworkers, because we don't need that all here at home. And then, the Thumper face mask and the Peter Pan notebook and bookmark and the Kate Spade coin purse, Minnie Mouse coin purse and this full size Mickey Mouse Disney backpack. And this is great because this would be great for um, a guy or a girl to use and so um, it's a nice heavy quality backpack and so all of those items in this one mystery box how fun is that and so I'm going to put the total what it all adds up to right here and uh, and so like I said this is a 79 pound box she does have one that's 49 pound in the Disney and then there are different ranges for the other boxes as well and I will put that link to her website in the description box below along with her Facebook page. So make sure you go and check Karen out. She's super sweet, super fun. Now, uh, just keep in mind because she is in the UK that shipping to the United States is a little bit more expensive, but she is totally willing to ship to the US. So uh, be sure to check this out. And thank you so much, Karen, for sending me this fun mystery box. It was a lot of fun to unbox. So now let's get into the DIY. Now this is something that I have been wanting to make for a long time for my family room. And my family room is a Disney theme. So mine is going to be uh, a Mickey Mouse shaped rope tray that I want to put on a table to put like my remote controls in. But you could totally use the same technique 
and just make it round or rectangular. So don't click away just because mine is a Mickey Mouse shape and you may not be wanting to decorate that way. Um, this is just something fun I've been wanting to make for my family room and I thought this same technique can be done in any shape that you want really. So let's jump in and get started. For this project I will be using a fairly sturdy piece of cardboard. I'm just going to recycle this box. I'll also be using some of the decorative nautical rope from Dollar Tree. I ended up using five packages of this for my tray. I'm also going to use just a piece of poster board to make my pattern. And for this I am using one of the cake pans from Dollar Tree for the main part and then I'm using this vase or glass from Dollar Tree uh, for the ears since I'm making mine a Mickey shape. Um, obviously if you're just making a circle or a rectangle you can use uh, whatever size that you want for that. I'm just tracing my pattern and then I'm going to cut it out. Then I'm going to trace this onto my cardboard and I will use a razor knife to carefully cut that out as well. Next I'm going to take my nautical rope and I'll remove the tape from one end and then I always put just a little bit of hot glue kind of in between the strands at the end and twist it together and hold it so that the ends of my rope don't fray. Then I'm going to start rolling my rope uh, really tightly at first and securing it with a little bit of hot glue. And once that glue is set, then I'm going to put some hot glue right in the center and just glue that down. And then I will continue wrapping the rope around and around, getting some glue on the cardboard as well as on the rope itself so that it holds very securely. Once I got to the end of the rope I cut off the tape that was around that end and added a little glue in the end again so that it wouldn't fray and then just glued it down and then started another rope. And I add a little bit of hot glue to the end of that rope to keep it from fraying and of course the idea here is to not be able to see where one stops and the other one starts. Now before I complete the last couple of rounds of rope on that main circle, I'm going to go ahead and do the ears on my Mickey head and I'm doing this because I want a nice transition where the ears meet. I want them to look a little bit more round and um, not have the main head part get in the way and so you'll kind of see as it gets put together what I mean um, but I'm just going to do the ears and then I'll finish up the head. So now that the ears are done I still have a little bit of space around the main part of the head and so I am going to uh, take some more rope and I am going to now fill that in so that uh, my whole shape, um, the cardboard piece, is covered with rope. Now I don't want that rough edge of the cardboard showing so I'm going to take another piece of rope and I'm going to go all the way around my Mickey head and just glue that rope right over that edge of that rough cardboard. Next I'm going to start building up the sides of my tray so I am going to add more rope on top of that um, last piece that I added around the edge so now um, it's going on top and I'm building height on that layer so and I'm going to go around the outside edge um, adding four uh, layers of rope so that my sides are about oh, two to two and a half inches tall approximately. I do want to mention this is not my original project. I've seen these on Pinterest and I just wanted to make my own and show you how I did mine. So here's the table in the family room where I wanted to make this tray for 
and this is what it looks like now. I am so pleased with this. I think it just adds that element of whimsy and fun, but it still looks classy and nice and neat, and so I'm really, really happy with this. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to have you stick around. I have so many DIYs coming in the next couple of months. And don't forget to check out Karen's Enchanted Mysteries website link that you will find in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day. What are you doing? This is not a CC video. You have to get down. You sassin' me?